So uh, I will start with the session first. And uh, I'll tell you how normally the C4 or the same service cloud initially get uh, implemented and how the uh, consultant get the information that they need to prepare the system or do the system setup. Okay. okay. Start from that. Okay. Whenever uh, a consultant or an architect, for example, now, now architect, why? Because uh, if one another multiple modules somebody knows and know the designing and all now termed as an architect mm -hmm. okay. so, architect when receive the system information they mm -hmm. receive by an email and okay. email uh, from sap okay email from an sap why because the contact person marked by the client would be the architect from the uh, implemented so they get an information, they get an email. In an email, uh, they get two email, in fact. One email will have an user ID along with an URL. So okay. this, you can see this in URL, right? So this yeah, yeah. URL talks about uh, your, uh, uh, um, your system ID. And after that, apart from this, second email which comes, it will come with a Alpha numeric password, initial mm -hmm. password, which we say. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens after receiving that? First and foremost thing, what mm -hmm. uh, architect do? Just log into the system. Okay, mm -hmm. user ID and initial password, and mm -hmm. when system get open, okay, system get open, it will only you can see the left hand side. These are called as a work centers. Okay. So they will see only three work centers. One, it is business configuration. Mm -hmm. Second is business partner. Mm -hmm. You can see here this one, business partner, business mm -hmm. configuration, and third is mm -hmm. the administrator. This, one. Mm -hmm. this is one of the interview question. Huh? Who uh, tells mm -hmm. that uh, he knows he has done implementation and all. So this question comes to that. Now, okay. If you know uh, what is the relation between these three, why only three work centers been given? Mm -hmm. Now, what is happening after you get a uh, user ID and password? Mm -hmm. First and foremost thing, what you do, you go and uh, uh, create uh, a service agent within the system. Okay. Service agent is nothing but a, a people who will have an admin access of the system. Okay, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. these are created as a uh, service agent in C4. So for that, what they need to do for that, they need to go to business partner. And you can see here, there is a service agent tab. Right. So okay. Business mm -hmm. uh, architect go here, see who are the people who require an access, admin access. Most probably, mm -hmm. admin access is given by your uh, uh, to the consultant on initial who, who, whoever is going to implement. Mm -hmm. okay. So after getting that admin mm -hmm. access, they will create a service agent first. Go click on okay. new, and then the ID will get automatic generated if there's a reason to create one, and then you can. Put professional information is an architect or whatever it may be, some name, right, gender and all. And mm -hmm. first time, last time, and very important, though it is not mandatory, but very important to have your mobile number and email address. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will tell you the relevance later, but okay. uh, you need to have your mobile number along with an email ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. After doing this, the next step is this request user, as soon as you save it, request user will get activated. It will become in the dark way, how it is, you can see here. What you need to do after filling all this information, click on request user, the next step. Mm -hmm. As soon as you click on request user, a user get created in the system automatically. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And then you need to modify that user according to business requirement and you need to set a password for that user. Mm -hmm. Now for doing that, the next step is mm -hmm. you go to administrator. See, see the linkage. Huh? If I see three work centers, see the linkage, how it is coming. Mm -hmm. Now go to an administrator and you can see there is a business user. Mm -hmm. Click on business user and the user which you have created over there, uh, 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 requested that user, that user will be seen over there. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you see that user, click the user and click on edit and click on attributes. Mm -hmm. So when you click on attributes, you will see there is a user ID, which are automatically generated. Now for this user ID, as per business requirement, business may say, my user ID, which I require should be julia.r, for example, mm -hmm. or just julia or R capital letter. Uh, uh, last uh, surname should be R capital first and then julia. So this mm -hmm. kind of uh, nomenclature they might give that my user ID should be in there. That can also be adjusted at the user ID. Mm -hmm. After that, you can set a password mm -hmm. for that particular user. So as soon as you set a password, and this password policy is set normally by the basis people, but as soon as you set a password and then time zone, definitely you're working time zone, language and all this is done. And then you need to save your user ID and password. Mm -hmm. Now you have created your user ID and password.